Okay, sorry about that. I was just checking on something. Okay, so back where we were before. Um, so for the green, it's again three out of four according to the mono hybrid cross, um, which is correct. Okay, and and then finally for terminal, it's one out of two, and I just multiply those numbers by each other. 3 fourths times 3 fourths times 3 fourths times half gives us 27 out of 128. Okay. Um, then the next part was what proportion the offspring has. And then instead of giving us phenotypes, it gives us a specific genotype, a specific uh, genetic code. Little t, little t, big R, little r, and so on. And then I just ran through the numbers to find out which ones, uh, which, what proportion of gametes allowed those traits from each monohybrid cross, and I got 1 out of 32. Um, then part C was what pro proportion of the offspring would be heterozygous for all four genes. So heterozygous means um, that the two alleles are not the same. If, it, if they were the same, they would be homozygous. But since they're different, they're heterozygous. And since we only know of two alleles for these genes, and since one is dominant, one is recessive, that means if all four genes are supposed to be heterozygous, it means we're only looking for the combinations where you have one gene that's dominant and one gene that's recessive. So like for tall, it would be big T, little t. For R, it would be big R, little r, and so on. And the answer to that question is 1 out of 32. Because for, for tall, it's half. For round, it's half. For axial, it's also half. But for color, um, yellow versus green, only one fourth of the gametes will be um, heterozygous for yellow or green color. <clears throat> now the last question, or rather, the last part of question five: What proportion of the offspring will be? And they give a specific um, phenotype, kind of like part A: um, dwarf, wrinkled, yellow, and axial. Okay, so. Dwarf, wrinkled, and axial are all recessive. So the, we're only looking for the combinations where, um, <clears throat> pardon me, where the recessive trait is uh, the only one there, as is homozygous recessive. So for tall, for, for, for height, it would be little t, little t, short, short, or dwarf, dwarf. And wrinkled, rr. Uh, yellow, though, is dominant which means the only one that's going to be like that is big red little y, because big y is dominant, which is yellow, and little y is recessive, which is green. So it's going to be only one-fourth, and axial is half, because half are the, the recessive allele, or re recessive homozygous. Then I run through the numbers, which is one-fourth times one-fourth times one-fourth times half, which is... 1 out of 128. And so there you go. Those are my answers to those questions.